Okay, so maybe we could do a quick introduction about um, last webinar that we did, Sarah, and explain yeah. what we were explaining there. Because the last webinar was a lot about the buy to let list um, or the buy to let projects, which is a little bit different than today. Because what are the buy to let projects about? Yeah, exactly. So the buy to let projects is buying an apartment that then you are going to rent out. Um, usually what we like to do here, especially here in Valencia, is renting out by the room because it's very profitable. Uh, we explained uh, how to do that, um, why it's a good strategy, why Valencia. And then um, we also explain at the end that we have a buy to let list where we invite everyone that is interested in those projects, um, taking part on those projects to join and then we'll be sending some opportunities there. So if you are still interested, send us an email and you can still join the, that place. Yeah, nice, because um, for all the people that are joining that know us already from some time ago, um, we are changing a little bit, well, not really, we're not changing the strategy, but we are organizing it better, okay? So what you can expect from us the upcoming time is we make different lists and in this list, we're going to, of course, add then the people that are interested in the services that the list is going to offer. As for example, Sada was talking about the buy to let list, the BTL, how we call it uh, in short. And that is for projects that you can buy um, that need a minor renovation and that you can buy directly with a mortgage and you can rent out per room a lot of time. Okay. And we call that co living because we know quite some things about co-living already from uh, being a co-living operator in, in Barcelona. And Sara is busy with that. She is on the lookout for these projects. Sara, you hear me well, right? Or sometimes you hear me. Yeah, as, yeah, uh, I hear you. Yeah? I hear you well. Um, and Sara is on the lookout on the street searching for these properties. And uh, what the interesting thing about that is, is that you don't have that much time to be putting it to work and to be renting it out, okay? Because you're buying a property that needs a smaller renovation. You don't need to request a license because for co-living in Spain, uh, you can rent it out per room the moment that you have an apartment. You don't need a license for that. So uh, for people that are searching for these properties, also make sure to send us a, a message. And today it's going to be a little bit different because there is one list, the buy to let list, and there is another list, which is called our insiders list, right, Sara? And, and there we're mm -hmm. offering the um, kind of the gems that we're doing a lot. And what, uh, what is the insider list and, and today's call about? Exactly. So on that list, we share the projects that we do. If, we fo uh, if you follow us on social media, you have seen that we do a lot of transformational projects. And that means changing the use of a uh, commercial space into a residential one. And that's what we are really an expert in. We are doing a lot of projects uh, like that. And those are very special because they have uh, a bigger yield than, than usually. Um, and that's what we are going to explain today. Yeah, these are really transformation projects. So we're buying it something in a really bad state. And why is it interesting? Because you can buy it for a lower price. It's commercial real estate and then we're transforming it to all residential <clears throat> or tourist rentals and tourist rentals are interesting because in spain normally you can make the biggest yield or the biggest returns on tourist rentals the only thing is that it getting it is getting more difficult to still get a tourist license okay because why the more licenses that are given the more difficult it gets okay so that's why in barcelona you cannot request a license anymore it's completely already done uh, however in, in, in valencia you can still get them and we're going to show today a project that we are requesting a tourist license on because well uh, the by coincidence not really coincidence because we've been thinking and, and doing a lot of work to be doing it on ground floor apartments commercial projects that you're transforming to residential you can still get tourist licenses and that's why we're really active with that with that, that is going to be the subject of today. We're going to show you how we are doing that and why these projects are really interesting. You need to do a big project. However, the return on investment or the the the, the, the money that is coming out of that project is, is very good. Normally way above the market average. 
So if everyone is ready, let's go. Okay, so um, they were going to talk about today and we prepared this presentation for you. The ones that have been talking with us before or investing already with us, they are probably very familiar with some slides that you're seeing because this is partly about the project that we're normally presenting to the investors if they're interested in a project. So at the end of this webinar, you will be uh, able to know what a change of use project is. We're going to analyze a change of use projects together. So change of use means cambio de uso in Spanish, or that means a transformation project, or that means buying commercial and transforming it, changing the use to residential. Okay. And you will know the first steps you will need to take on your investment journey if this is really your investment strategy. Who are we? Okay. Um, by the way, we are missing here some people, but just for the sake of quickly on explaining who we are, it's Sarah, project manager, who is finding, who is searching, who is negotiating, who is honestly searching for new projects and also selling our projects, by the way. Uh, I'm normally the one responsible for relations. In general, all the people that are reaching out and want to do more with us, for example. And the one who was missing here, but that you, that you just saw before, there was Ellen. And Ellen is our marketing coordinator or manager. Okay? And besides that, a lot of other people, for example, Andrea, you probably recognize his name, who is analyzing a lot of deals so that we can present it to you or to our investors, okay? So we have been doing this for seven years already, 40 plus projects that we have been completing. There's uh, ongoing flip and buy to let, let projects now at this moment that we will show you via the map because it's quite exciting. Next to that, we are a operator of co-living in Barcelona and Valencia with 400 rooms. That is why we know a lot about co-living and we can provide it to our investors. And our vision is just for this call, for all of you to make it accessible. The real estate that sometimes is difficult. You need to know how it's going to make it accessible for our, all our stakeholders, especially investors. Okay, this is something that we are very excited about because these are all the projects that are currently underway or have been completed. Okay, as you can see in the city center, which is here, we are normally not investing that much we have been doing it sometimes but the more you're going to the place where everyone wants to be the more expensive it gets and the more expensive it gets that normally means that you have low return on investment okay so that is normally what we are avoiding this is the city center of valencia very nice by the way and this is the beach area where also everyone wants to be we're normally trying to invest just outside the city center which is here we're now doing some new projects here we need to update the the map here we're doing quite some projects and this is also an area that we're very excited about. It's just between or within the city center and the beach. Basically, all areas that still have good square meter prices and that we know that are upcoming, we're investing and we're doing at these transformation projects. Okay, let's have a look at 2023, the numbers. Uh, we have been purchasing multiple projects, but in unit, unit terms, these are uh, 57 units. That means that the total of these projects and all these units is around 6.5 million of project cost that needs to be paid to finalize these projects. More than 50 investors, new investors joined us last year. And on this amount that they've been investing, we're expecting a 1.7 million uh, profit for all these investors, which makes more than 25%, which is quite high. Uh, we get quite some questions about if we are not, um, especially at the beginning of our project, if we're not overestimating. And a lot of times that is not the case. And why it is not the case? Because with commercial real estate, again, you buy cheap, you do a good renovation, and you force the valuation quite a lot, which makes these returns possible. Okay? That is with this strategy that we're going to talk about today a an important an important key what we like about real estate it's passive income it's leverage it's secure assets and it's it's appreciation okay most likely most of you know that but when you really apply this in your own career portfolio this is where you can hit a uh, big numbers for yourself and financial freedom at one point why these Cambio de Uso projects or change of use projects is because there are still opportunities out there. 
if you know how to find them because it's also getting more difficult. Sara is really putting a lot of effort in to find the right deals uh, because they're ground floors um, that are less demanded than normal properties. And are normally they're not that nice. They don't look, they need a lot of work. And that's why we have, as investors can make a big difference. Now, there's lower prices because they are, again, less in demand. It's commercial property, so the prices per square meter are lower. So then you can, And we also buy in bulk. We buy big places. And then you can buy even for cheaper normally if you negotiate well. And there's less competition because this is a niche market. And in the beginning, the, pro the projects that we're going to show you need to be bought with cash. Okay, the capital you need to invest with cash. And at the end of the project, you can get a mortgage. So then you can get money back where you can reinvest with. Okay. I think this was your part, right, Zeta, from here? Yeah, exactly. So I can take. Um, yeah, so those this is to explain you how um, how we do a change of use. So on the first image, you can see the kind of uh, properties that we buy. Usually there's nothing inside or it could be offices, could be garages, uh, could be totally destroyed. Um, but that's what we buy, uh, commercial space. Uh, then the rehab, as you can see here in the second image, we start to see the connections. There's a lot of work because to go from the first image to the last one, there's a big, big work involved. Um, and finally, the last result, the last picture you can see is this result, which can be either selling for a big profit or renting it out, uh, especially in Airbnb. As Erwin was saying at the beginning, uh, it's getting more difficult to get the license, but it's still possible here in Valencia in the ground floors. That's why those projects are very interesting because you can still get uh, apartments with a touristic license to then rent it out uh, in Airbnb. So you can pass uh, the slide. Yeah, so the first step is the purchase. This is very important um, because you need to do a good analyze. Not all the ground floors work. Uh, you need to have a lot of things in mind, uh, especially um, uh, doing it with the help of an architect because there's a lot of regulations that depends on the city it's not only in spain but each city has different regulations that's why it's very important to do that visit and that uh, analysis of the project together with an expert then look for that has uh, outside the space that means a lot of uh, facade uh, that looks at the street and also could be interior patios and then run the numbers very conservatively. Um, as you can see here in the pictures, we are buying some projects, some ground floors like the first one that you can see it's a new building. Everything um, looks fine. It, they have good conditions or we are buying ground floors like the second one, which are uh, totally destroyed, ruined by the water. We need to do um, a lot of uh, works in there just to repair before we can start actually building the units and the apartments um, so it's very important to do to run the numbers very conservatively for all the work that needs to be put um, into that then the second step is the rehab uh, before starting we work with the architects that um, plan for, make the project present it uh, to the municipality to get the license and once the license gets approved, which normally takes around three to four months, then it's when we start the rehab. Um, as you can see here, uh, I wanted to show you the steps. Uh, so you can see it's a big transformation. It starts, um, here's another project that we did in Gabriel Miro, uh, closer to the city center. It was three units in total. And there were some office spaces that at the end, uh, we transform it into three um, apartments. So the first step would be demolishing. Uh, you need to, if it's divided, we demolish everything and we left it open, like an open canvas. And then from there, uh, the workers start, first of all, dividing the units, as you can see here that they are constructing the walls with brick. Um, and you can turn the slide, Erwin. Then 
the um, the next step is doing the water and electricity connections um and then we start uh also together on that stage they divide the the units i mean the different rooms in the unit and we do that with pladur the isolation and the drywall that you can see here on the second picture and then finally just a final touch are the tilings on the floor and uh, the kitchen windows doors and yeah kitchen and bathroom and then in the next one we can see the end results so you can see they look very different from the beginning um yeah looks completely different also from the outside so in it not only um we are creating uh, properties but also what we are doing is uh uplifting the the neighborhoods because it looks totally different when you see uh from the outside uh places like this with a nice entrance uh you can pass it yeah, so that was well explaining you how a project, a transformation like this gets done. After when it's finished, another important thing that it wasn't there, it's all the registration. You need to go to the notary again, register all the the, um, the changes done. And that is mostly paperwork to, to, to do. Um, and now what I want to do is to analyze a project that we just finalized, uh, that we started around a year ago. It's located in Maderas. As you can see here in the map, it's a very good location uh, because it's close to the port, to the beach area, and also not that far from the city of arts and science, close to the university area. So it's very desirable, not only for tourists, but also for people who are visiting, for example, uh, students there. Um, and also it's very well located in the middle of everything, let's say. You want to pass yes yeah, so here is the uh the ground floor when we bought it um it was to totally open i think it was more than 300 square meters and that was very interesting because it had a lot of outside um of walls facing the street so it had a lot of natural light and we could create a lot of units because each one could have its uh independent entrance as you can see here at the bottom, you see that it's on a corner. So it had, at the end, it ended up having 10 units. Um, yeah, here, as I was explaining, you have the floor place. And even though you, you might think that those are very narrow, actually, when you are there, uh, it feels very spacious because the, um, the ceiling was very high. So it had a lot of distance. And when you are there, you don't feel like it's narrow. Actually, it feels like there's a lot of space. And what you want to do also with these Airbnb apartments is to create as many uh, beds or spaces to sleep as possible. That's why you'll see here a lot of beds um, in the drawing. So here are the numbers um as you can see this was a very special opportunity because we bought it uh a little bit over a year ago where the prices were very very low almost nobody was doing that strategy nobody was buying ground floors so we were able to uh to buy the property very very cheap um that has changed quite a bit now there are more competitors and the prices in general has gone up um but let's see the numbers. So this is for one of the units on the corner, which was the small ones, 35 square meters. Um, the purchase price of that, uh, what we do is the total cost, we divide it by the um, a square meters and each investor pays each own unit. That means if you are buying a 35 square meter apartment, you are only going to pay what's proportional for that unit, as you can see here in the picture. So the purchase price for that unit was 21, uh, around 21,000. The construction cost was 21,000 as well. Um, as I was saying, right now, the purchase price would be much higher 
And then other costs involves uh, notary, taxes, the registration, license, architects, all that. So we have a gross total cost of um, less than 50,000. And can you imagine buying a property now in Valencia for less than 50,000? It's right now it's totally impossible. Um, then we have our fees, which are uh, 4,000 uh, 4, for the deal sourcing fee and 22,000 for the project management, which ends up a total project cost of uh, 75,000. Um, in that case, as I was saying, uh, when we run the numbers for this operation, uh, we were expecting to sell that property for 86,000, but because the, the market was going up a lot, uh, because there are a lot of tourists coming, because there are a lot of investors that are looking at Valencia to invest, uh, the prices has gone up a lot, and we were able to sell that property for 135. Uh, which gave us a return of um, almost 60,000 um, with a gross margin of 74%. As I was saying, like this is a, a special case that we like to present because it's true. Uh, we just finished that, we just sold that, but also it's a special case because it might not happen um, again. But that's the power that it has this type of projects where you are buying very, very cheap and at the end, you are able to to sell quite high. Yeah, Sarah, if you allow me to jump in for a moment. So this is an example, okay, guys? So normally what we try to do is for investors to hit the 20 to 25% of, of margin when you sell it. So then we're talking about this amount. This is very high. Um, so calculate with a 20 to 25% on a yearly or 12 to 15 15 month basis where you earn that. And then also this amount is quite high because what Sarah is meaning with the rental income, short term rental, well, kind of this makes sense, right? And we're basing that on a specific general price per night times an occupancy around 70%. This also is super high because this means that this amount at 21K, almost 22, divided by the net total cost of 76K uh, times 100% to get the one to get the percentage. This is this. Also, this is quite high. Okay, so don't use this as a thing that you can always get because normally we're trying to get around 15 to 20% for the investors as a gross yield, which is still very high, which is gross. And normally, an investor to make it a good investment, you're looking at around eight to ten percent for a lot of investors to invest in okay so this is an example we want to show um however keep in mind that um that, that there are different projects out there yeah no exactly that was as i say like a, a special case that happened but when we made the numbers and we went through the operation uh we were looking at between 20 25 percent um yield um that's the normal projects that we do and that we when we decide to invest in when we see those those numbers yeah so here are the the end um results the pictures as you can see the one on the bottom are the pictures of the unit that we sold um it has basically the kitchen the bathroom at the very end and then uh, the bed uh here and then other projects that we have done. There's another example, that's Pieta 13. Um, that's more accurate on the projects that we do. Also was a commercial space um, closed. It was closed for a very long time. And then we transform it into, uh, in that case, it was residential to residential units that you can see here at the bottom with some nice terrace. And the total cost for that project was 100, for that specific, unit was 126 and the selling price uh 160,000 and it took around 15 months Maybe if you want to take that up yeah i will do that okay so <clears throat> so we have been looking at some other projects now there's a photo that you recognize from the beginning this is a project that we are now working on it's called miguel paredes the street in valencia 
And this whole ground floor, as you're seeing, we are going to buy. And we're going to make 11 unif units out of that. And that is a project that is still available, okay? So have a look. Let's have a look at the photos. As you can see here, it's uh, kind of a, a whole building from one corner to another corner. And what you see here is that it's quite high ceiling. So and that is then nice because we're doing ground floor projects, which at the ground floor, it's not always the most light that is coming in. So we need to, as you can see here in the renders, how we normally also talk with the investors, how that it could look like after. We need to kind of, use as much as the height to get as most light in to make it as light as possible right so that is then really nice if we can do that because this is i think more than three meters and you can also see that here it's a high and that is what sada was saying it creates a, a spacious feeling which is also good if you want to rent it out and now we normally do that as you can see here this is what it is now and this is what it can be after if we make the units okay so it's it's quite uh, special if you see really the, the transformation happening and this is the floor plan okay so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten <clears throat> eleven units across just spread out over the whole over the whole ground floor and what we have been doing here is the two units with a entrance on the street side and here we made a hallway to go to the all other apartments. And why we, we did that, because here we have two apartments on the other side that otherwise you could not enter or access. So this is a hallway where you get um, the access to all the other units. As you can see, one unit is bigger than the other one. We're trying to make the most out of every unit that it had also the, the best results after. So some are more studio units as this one. And some have really rooms. And why can we make rooms here? Is because we need to have an outside window to be qualified as an official or legal room. Okay. So we don't have any other window at the back side or at the at, at the side like we're having here, right? Because here, this is the entrance and this is the street where you have the light coming in. Um, so we need to adjust the space that we can create kind of a nice space here where it's it's a loft, this is a studio. And if you are thinking, how in the hell could you still make this nice? Remember this photo? This is the photo of that unit, which if you do it in a nice way with decoration, you can really still separate the room with some decoration touches, which makes it still quite nice. So we see here some numbers. Um, you can have a look at the purchase price, like Sarah was saying, construction, other costs. The net total cost of a unit is around 114. Uh, if you then uh, sell it for the expected selling price that we were expecting, you can earn around 24K, and that is 21% as a return on investment uh, percentage. And then after, if you want to rent it out, <clears throat> we think that for around 90 euros per night, times 68 percent of occupancy you can make this as a yield if you do short-term rentals because on this project we're go we're going to get tourist licenses okay so that is important which is a strategic thing not only it makes good money but it's also just a strategic object to have when that is going to get more and more difficult then um Ellen, are you here? Do you want to do this or do you want me to present this one? I'm here. Thank you, Erwin. Yes, so as we mentioned in the beginning of the presentation, we have an insider list where people who are interested in investing in products like these that Erwin and Sarah just presented, uh, you get the first hand access to uh, see the product, read about it, and then also make your reservation before we show it to anyone else. So if you want to sign up to this list, you can scan the QR code and then um, you're qualified. Exactly. And the idea is if you scan this QR code, thanks, Ellen, you will get a form, right? And then at the form, you can give your data uh, and then you will be added to the list that is then receiving these projects as the first one. Right, so if you scan this QR code, you will get the form. You can leave your data there, and then you're part of of being able to get the deals like this. Okay, when yeah, 
Yeah, um, yeah. No, I just want to say that people, if you sign up now, you actually have easier access to the list because we're working on, um, uh, we haven't mentioned this, this before to this group, but we're doing this big rebranding and we're also changing the way you can sign up to the list. So if you sign up now, you have a lower barrier of entry than you will have in the future. So that's a hint. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So, and and this project is still available. So if you're thinking like, hey, this is actually something interesting and I'm, I'm curious to hear more, make sure to. And also then when the call's over, I think automatically you will get a, you will be forwarded to sign in the the list and if you want to be there completely fine if not also not any problem okay so this is to to join the insider list now we besides doing these projects this is our clear mission which is more deep which is why we are really motivated in what we're doing and we're building something bigger than one project we're building a community with all like-minded people like for example you that are that, that you're spending your evening on a Tuesday evening to listen to these kind of things because we are really motivated and excited by what we are doing and we want to share this with more people and we're doing that via Instagram so you can see the posts that we're doing videos about what we are doing a weekly podcast that we're doing a monthly meetup in Barcelona and in Valencia that we come together with all the other people and we have a telegram group in which we talk daily about real estate in Spain. So if any of these uh, is exciting to you and you want to be part of it, let us know and write to us maybe already here now or send us an, uh, an email to the info at mybluebergs.com. Uh, reach out to us and, and you, can be, you can be part of that.